I'm not whispering. <laughs> now see, look y'all, she tell me I be too loud. Yeah, keep the whisper. So, <laughs> so now that I'm talking softer, she asked me why am I whispering. Are you frightening me. <laughs> when? How you usually are so loud, and now you're talking soft. <laughs> We're doing a new thing, okay? Another annoying thing in the house tonight. <laughs> you know we're all with that. Praise the Lord. You get Praise loud, the Lord. Pull a smooth Pastor pull James type of look. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, why don't you go ahead and share this out? Remember, we're trying to reach 50 to 100 people on live at the same time. We will enjoy your comments tonight. Uh, we will try to answer all your questions at, to the best of our ability. And um, go ahead and grab your Bible, a pen, something to write with because God is always talking. We're going to listen tonight and write some nuggets mm -hmm. down. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Good evening. Good evening. Do me a favor. Um, just let us know where you're watching us from, uh, either the city or the state, even the country. Uh, hallelujah. But just let us know where you're watching us from. And uh, we greatly appreciate that tonight. Hallelujah. I don't hallelujah. know if I missed it, but don't forget to like, share, and comment. And subscribe to our YouTube page. Praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father. We praise you. Hallelujah. Just giving God the glory. I pray that you all had a wonderful day today and you're still having a beautiful day in the name of the Lord. And we just thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Jesus. Yes, God. We just praise you, the Lord, for he is awesome. He is worthy. Hallelujah. So beautiful, so wonderful. Mm. The mighty God that we serve. Hey, listen, I, I pray this week that y'all have been enjoying the, um, the prayers in the morning. I'm, I just want to say this up front. Remember, there is no prayer in the morning. Thursday morning. Thursday morning. There will be no prayer tomorrow morning. I'll be back with y'all Friday morning. Uh, I have an appointment that I have to be there quite early for. So um, me driving and praying, I can't do both at the same time. So, you know, um, but everything is well. So, But I do have that. So we will not be having prayer tomorrow morning. We will join you again Friday morning at 7 a.m. for prayer. And bring somebody with you. Praise you, the Lord. All right, come on, y'all. Let's go ahead on and let's pray and let's move into, into Bible study tonight. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We praise you. We love you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We esteem you high. Father God, we thank you for all that you've done and all that you continue to do. Thank you for the manifold blessing that's upon our lives. Lord God, we ask that you continue to be with each and every one of us. Anoint our eyes so we all can see what the word will show us. Yes. Anoint our ears so we can hear what the word is speaking to us. Yes. Anoint our hearts so we can receive that word that that seed will be planted. Yes. That seed will die and produce roots that produce a plant, produce trees that produce fruit and harvest that will last from one generation to the next. And Lord God, let this word that come forth tonight, let us not only be a hearer, but be a doer of the word, for you are the true and living God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. You have your Bibles. You saw it. You see it. Lift them up for us tonight. Say this after me. This is my Bible. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I am what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. I can do what it says I can I do. Declare I declare my Bible, my Bible is the living word, is the living word of, the living God. of the living God. It has the power, it has the power and, the authority and the authority to change my life. To change my life. And I declare, and I declare after hearing the word, after hearing the word my, life my life won't be the same. Won't be the same in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Jesus name. Amen. 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 Oh, yeah, Praise yeah. the Lord. Praise the Lord. Good evening. Thank Good evening. You, Good Lord evening. Jesus. Hey, listen, we are still talking about discipleship. Uh, we're still talking about being uh, effective witnesses for the Lord. 
repping for Jesus. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so we, we, we're going back to Matthew 5, 13 through 16. Um, hopefully you got a chance to go back and review the Bible study from last week. I still had, I mean, we had an awesome time, you know, and God is still awesome. He's yes. still amazing. Hallelujah. Glory. Just like uh, I believe it was Luther Brent, Luther Vandross that said, "Amazing love." Mm -hmm. That's just what we have. Mm -hmm. yes. So we're gonna tune in to Matthew the fifth chapter, Matthew five, and we're going back. Remember, we was talking about salt and light, but we spent a lot of time on salt. So we're gonna start and just read at verse thirteen through sixteen. But we're gonna talk about being the light tonight. We're gonna talk about that being the light. So I'm um, asking Pastor Sabrina if she don't mind to read for us from the King James Version, Matthew in the fifth chapter, verses 13 through 16. Of course. Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost his savior, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. 14. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. 16. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Amen. Pastor Dixon, uh, do you have that in another version? I have the... Um the good news and the passion. All right, go ahead on and uh, give us the passion translation. All right, Matthew 5, verse 13. Your, li your lives are like salt among the people. But if you, like salt, become bland, how can your saltiness be restored? Flavorless salt is good for nothing and will be thrown out and trampled on by others. Mm -hmm. 14. Your lives light up the world. For how can you hide a city that stands on a hilltop? 15. And who would light a lamp and then hide it in an obscure place? Instead, it will be placed where everyone in the house can benefit from its light. 16. So don't hide your light. Let it shine brightly before others so that your commendable works will shine as light upon them. And then they will give their praise to your Father in heaven. Amen, amen, amen. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. So we, we, we talked about salt. And what good is salt if it loses its flavor? Mm -hmm. It's no good anymore. Because we know salt wakes up the flavor of food. Yes. It is. I mean, you eat something bland, and then you, you put some salt in something, that salt gonna wake up the flavor. Mm -hmm. You know, we it just brings out the, the goodness of what's in that food. Mm -hmm. And as a Christian, we're supposed to be the same way. We're supposed to be the salt that brings out the godliness in us and others around us. I think um, salt, well salt had, had many uses, it has many uses now, but it had many uses back in the days when Jesus walked the earth. And mm -hmm. I think that's why he chose Saul mm -hmm. to use, you know, Jesus spoke in parables. He told stories um, and people and things that related to what people did every day so that they will understand mm -hmm. him more clearly. And salt was used um, just like money is used today. Salt was used um, in that way. People bought things with salt. Salt, there was no refrigeration. There was no freezer. There was no ice. So salt we use to preserve. So if we are the salt, I believe we are to preserve people. We are to cleanse them with the word. We are to add the flavor to their life, to make things better. Mm -hmm. Even if they're in a bad situation, if we apply the word to it, it will make your situation better. It'll let you know that you can get past this. You can move forward even in, even though it doesn't feel good. It will work out for your good because yes. the word of God will bring the salt, the flavor. And we we are to bring it to the world. Amen. 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 That's good. And also salt, if you notice, I'm sure everybody knows, when you put salt on your food or in your food, unlike pepper, it disappears. So that when we true. bring 
when we bring the salt or we bring the flavor to somebody's life, mm -hmm. we should, when it comes in, when the word of God that we're bringing into their life, that's right, it should dissolve in their life and cause Amen. whatever's inside of them to now become better, Amen. to enhance. Yes, yes. yes. And, and then, too, when you think about it, we, we got what? We got regular table salt. Mm -hmm. We got Himalayan salt. Pink we got salt. sea that's salt. That salt. Yeah, that's the pink salt. <laughs> but excuse me. Bath salt. But then, right, <laughs> we got one that I know from my childhood that that we use Lowry seasoning salt. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You, you can see it, but it's there. It's, it's got something else in it. Mm -hmm. And you know, as us being the salt of the earth, we have God's presence yeah. in us and upon us to help us bring out the godliness yes. in into this world. Amen. So we are the salt of the world. So let's jump into the light. Okay. Verse number uh, 14 says, and I'm going to read mine from the uh, message Bible. It says, here's another way to put it. You're here to be light, bringing out the God colors in the world. God is not a secret to be kept. He said, we're going public with this, as public as a city on a hill. We are called to be light. We are called to illuminate. You know? just gonna actually Go ahead. People put in the comments, what does light do? If you could put in the comments, what is the purpose of light? What does light do for you, where you are? What does the light do? Because there are different there are different types of light and different yeah. ways that we use light. Mm -hmm. Some people use it inside, some people use it outside. There's different forms of light. Mm -hmm. So the question again was to put into the comments what is light for? How do you use light? What is it used for? Yeah. I know one way um, when we're outside at night, we make a fire. Out of the wood, the tree trunks that Pastor James has cut down to make a light. A hot light. Too, a right? hot to make heat because it's cool outside. So we will use, build a fire to get the light to make it warm. Sometimes it's just relaxing. I use the light to help locate or find something that I may have lost. Yep. How many people use the light on your cell phone? There's a light on your cell mm -hmm. phone. You may use that. All the time. Or in our house, we have the light switches mm -hmm. that we turn on. But when, after there's been a hurricane, if we lost power, we use a different kind of light because that switch doesn't want to work. You got a flashlight, you got a candle light, mm -hmm. however you can. But one thing that I, 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 um, I appreciate what Jesus said here is that as us being the light, you cannot hide it, and and when okay. and when you have received Jesus into your life and accepted the Holy Ghost, you have received the Holy Spirit. You cannot hide it. Mm -hmm. I don't care how hard you try. I don't care how how you try. Mm -hmm. That light comes out of you, mm -hmm. even if it's nothing but something as small as a candle, mm -hmm. like a light that's that's on a little lighter. In darkness, that's a bright light. No matter how small it is. No matter how small darkness it is. Darkness can't extinguish the light. Cannot hide it. So, when you have been touched by God, you cannot hide that touch from the world. Mm -hmm. Many people are trying. Mm -hmm. Many people are trying to hide the light because I believe we're trying to fit in with a society that is full of darkness and we are the light and we can't fit in. Yeah. We can't fit in. We're trying to fit in, but it's hard to fit in when things happen and then all of a sudden that light that's in you becomes brighter. Mm -hmm. It's illuminated. Such as you got somebody going through mm -hmm. and they call you to pray for them because they know you believe in God. Yeah. They know no matter what, you go to church. Whether you ain't been to church in six months, six weeks, six years, they know you was in the church. Yeah. So they believe that you can pray to God still yeah, right. and get a prayer through because why? They know it's in you. Mm -hmm. What about the way you live your life? Yeah. That's it. Your responses to bad situations or any situation. 
so, how you respond to people. Mm -hmm. So we are the light of the world. And, it, and that's the good thing I love about what Jesus said. You cannot hide it. What's in your is going to come out. Amen. So that part in us, uh, the light that we're talking about is is Christ. Mm -hmm. You know, His Spirit inside of us. It the, the Spirit of Christ comes out so that it can help when you're in a dark situation. Yes. So when you come around a person, the Spirit of Christ in you will help in that dark situation. A lot of people follow you as a Christian because of the light because of the goodness of God that's coming forth out of you. When they see you, they see the light of God. They mm -hmm. see God in you. They see the, the goodness of God in you. They see hope in you. They see something that they, they know they hope. need. Yes. So that is Christ inside of us. All that, that comes with the spirit of Christ is inside of us. Yeah, it's, so, it's not us. Right, right. But it's right. the Christ in us. That's the Amen. light. And, uh, he is the light. Let me read a couple of, of responses that we received. Uh, Jaquay Collins said, use the light to guide you in darkness. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Deacon Harvey said, light helps produce what is righteous and true. Yes. It sure does. Yes. It sure does. Because like I said, you can't hide it. Mm -hmm. when, when, when you have received the word and that word is manifesting in your life. Because God said his word will not return to him void. Mm -hmm. It will accomplish what he sent it to, to accomplish. Mm -hmm. when, when that word in you, I don't care if it ain't number one scripture. Yes. When that scripture or that word of God is in your life and it's in you. When trouble comes, when trials come, when tribulation comes, when others come. That word is going to come alive. Come to the forefront. It's going to be illuminated. That's right. And Satan knows that. So that's why he want to try to keep us in darkness because he don't want us to realize the light and the power that we have. Because let's face it, there's power in light. Yes, it is. And no matter how small we think our light is, mm -hmm. it will shine as bright as the situation requires. Amen. Mm -hmm. Say that again. It doesn't matter how small we feel the light in us is. We may not think we don't know that much about God in Christ Jesus, but it will shine. The light in us, the Christ in us, will shine as bright as the situation we're in requires. Mm -hmm. But we got to let it out. We got to speak it out. Yes. We got to show it. We got to do something. We just can't sit and wallow and cry and keep saying all the things that, but God, but God, but God. This is happening. You don't understand. God knows all things. Yes, he does. He allows things to happen so that we can see where we are and know where we need to go. Amen. We need to use the gifts that God has given us. A lot of times we don't want to use the gift. Mm. We want somebody else to fix it. Yeah. We want the pastor to fix it. We want our saved friends to fix it. We want mama or daddy to fix it. We want to turn on the television and and think we can give some money to this church over here or to sow a seed over here and want them to fix this. No. God gave us the light. I'm on with that. And we have to let our light shine. I think everybody who hears this is going to remember when we were little kids, there was a song, This Little Light of Mine, Ooh. I'm going to let, let it shine. It shine. Amen. Amen. Everywhere I go. I, I don't know how words are songs. All I'm in my about. home. All <laughs> but I'm going to let it shine. I'm going to let it no matter what. And, and that's the thing about it. Your light has to shine. No matter where you are, no matter what you're going through, you have to let that light shine. Because one thing that light's going to do is it's going to eliminate the, the, the issue or the problem or whatever you're facing. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, that light going to produce the power that you need mm -hmm. to help you deal with what you're dealing with. Mm -hmm. That's one thing I recognize. You know, we got these two lights in here. Okay, in addition to the light above us, I got two um, lights on stands. I recognize something about those lights. Number one, they're very powerful. They are very bright. And and then, number two, after they've been on a while, they produce heat. They get hot. 
So see, so when you let your light shine, the fire of God that's in you is going to come out. Mm -hmm. People are going to start to feel the anointing and the power that's on your life as you let the light, Jesus Christ, in you shine. Mm -hmm. And we cannot be afraid to let that light shine. Would, would it be, and correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm not sure. This just came in my head. Um, is our... The, the more time we spend in God, with God and in God's word and developing our relationship with him, does our wattage, the wattage bulb, not like wattages mm -hmm. in light bulbs, does our wattage increase? Nah, I just think you just, you just started reading. You just See, use it differently? I believe what, what happens is, thank you for that. We have a dimmer switch to where sometimes we may dim our light and other times we want it to shine real bright it's got the same wattage it's got the same capacity but we we play with it we go up and down because sometimes we'll be on fire for God and our light shining bright then we go through some things now all of a sudden we don't dial back from God so now our light not shining as bright but it's still shining because why the, the, the gifts and callings of God are without repentance and what God has placed in you mm -hmm. is still in you. So as the young people say, we need to keep that same energy no yep. matter what the situation. <laughs> oh, keep man. That same keep that energy. same energy. When things are going well for you, your money right, your family right, your bills paid, you got extra money to vacation and shop, that same energy and happiness you have that Keep that if you give a, get a past due notice. Keep that if you get a notification from the doctor that something wrong. Mm -hmm. Keep that energy if you go outside and your tire flat. Still trust God. Still mm -hmm. profess his word. Still have the faith in God. Don't think God has left me. No, God is still with us. And you know something else? The Holy Spirit just brought this to me. And we all know this. Especially living in, in, in Florida, South Florida. What happens after we get a, a thunderstorm in the daytime? The lights blink on and off? Yeah, but after the storm is gone, you go outside. Does it seem like the light is, the sun is burning a lot brighter than it was before the storm? Sometimes. Know, yeah, I know. Out you out try to go out there. <laughs> but, so, but, but it seems like that light, after it, the rain and the sun still out, that that light seems brighter. Mm -hmm. And when you go through something in God, mm -hmm. and when you come out, you're coming out a lot brighter than what you went in. Amen. People's, people see something different on you. You, you will feel different mm -hmm. because your light is burning brighter. It's shining. And, and another thing, one thing I used to love to see when I was younger and uh, I stayed outside. And um, you know it'll go to raining sometime, and um, the sun will still be out. Mm -hmm. And I just was reflecting on that—that that how we will still play football in the streets because even though it's raining, the sun still still shining. Ain't no lightning, ain't no thunder, and it may not have been raining hard, but it was sometimes it was just so amazing to see the sun still shining even though it's raining. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you my revelation behind that. Even though you going through a storm, even though you going through some crisis in your life, mm -hmm. you, the light of God in you is still shining. Mm -hmm. It is still burning bright. Well, we if we look at the word in verse 14, it says that it don't, we don't have an option if we're going to be the light. If you are in Christ Jesus, you are the light Amen. of the world. And, Amen. And he's already, we're like a city sitting on a hill. He's already put us before people. But what we're to do with that light, if we go down to 16, let your light shine before men. Mm -hmm. That they may see your good works. So they can see your good works. They can see the good that's in you and glorify the Father. See, it's not about us. No, it's not. Not about us personally. It's so that God will get the glory out of everything we do, everything we say. So whatever we do, we're professing to be Christians, to be children of God, that we've given our life to him. So now everything that we do, it reflects God. Mm -hmm. Everything we say, it reflects God. That's why people in the world are waiting. They're watching us. 
And how many of you know they see more of the mistakes we make? They try to catch more of the mistakes. I thought you was a Christian. Mm -hmm. So why'd you roll your eyes at that person? I rolled my eyes at that person. They're watching. So you have to be careful of the things you do. Stay close to God so that if something happens, your face don't turn uh, like you've been sucking on lemons. Mm. Or your mouth don't speak out negativity and negative things. We got the, um, what's Kiyosha say? Positive, good, vibe. good vibes only. My, I have a niece who I always say good vibes only. Mm -hmm. That's it. So we have to let our good vibes, our goodness, our good work show before men so that they will praise God, especially if a bad situation happens. Someone cut you off in traffic mm -hmm. or someone say something crazy to you at work or they just talk down to you. The world is waiting to see how you Christians are going to respond. Are you going to respond in love and show the light of God or are you going to let darkness come out? Mm. Are you going to try to shut your light down? Well, a lot of times we try to shut our light down because we don't want to have to deal with darkness. Mm -hmm. But that's the reason why we got Jesus. Amen. That's Amen. the reason why the goodness of God is inside of us mm -hmm. so that we can bring the goodness to other Amen. people. We can bring love and, and forgiveness and, and patience in a, in, a, in, a, in a life that's full of hell. Amen. You know, it's full of darkness. It's full, it's full of pain. It's full of hurt. But when you come, you bring in the goodness. You bring in goodness and you bring in mercy. You're showing them how the Lord grace. wants to respond to them in that situation because we all, I know I have been in dark situations. Yes. And when somebody come around me with something that's going to encourage me, something that's going to bring me out of that, not just let me stay stuck in that situation, I'm glad to see them come. And you can't hide it because when they Where's come, you already know, yeah. oh, I'm finna get some help. Yep. You know, they don't know. I know help, when they my come. Help don't show up. I Just feel the whole presence of yeah. them being in the room brings me saying, joy. I'm so glad you here. I'm telling oh, you. Mm -hmm. Thank that, you for that's coming. That's awesome. Hey, and you know what? And, and that's funny. And, and not funny, but it's it's um it's amazing. So uh, a couple things that you said. First of all, let's say you get somebody you you've been around. Mm -hmm. And you know them, you know their character, you know their conduct. Light recognizes when there's a balance, when, when things are not balanced, when mm -hmm. things are not right. Light will recognize, wait a minute, I need to uh I need to just shine on this situation. Mm -hmm. I need to help this person out because just like you just said, mm -hmm. you glad that they came around. Mm -hmm. You know, now I want to just ask a question, what's in the light? You said part of one thing that I believe is in the light mm -hmm. as, as we are the light of the world. Love. Mm -hmm. Love is in the light. Grace. Joy. Mercy. Grace. Forgiveness. Mercy. Forgiveness. Mm -hmm. you know, hey. Peace. I mean, oh. think about it. Oh, oh man. They, they, there's nothing pretty much. I mean, whatever your favorite pastime is, whatever you like to do, if you like to go outside. I don't care if it's fishing, if it's walking, or uh, just sitting by a body of water, just looking out, being on the beach. Mm -hmm. How many people go to the beach at night compared to the number of people that's at the beach in the daytime? Even mm -hmm. at night, you got a beautiful moon. Right. You got a lot of stars and but stuff you, that you can look at. So even in darkness, even at shine. night, that light that, just make it beautiful. It makes it beautiful. Mm -hmm. So the light will beautify mm -hmm. as well as bring mm -hmm. peace. Yes. You know? I mean, think about it. The, the, when we look at stuff, we, we just tell people, hey, that needs more lighting because mm -hmm. it's a little dark, mm -hmm. you know. But we got some, some, some light coming into your life will bring you great joy, mm -hmm. you know. Well, what about this, Pastor James? A lot, of a lot of times as Christians, we have to, as you, you use the illustration about the dimmer. I think a lot of times as Christians, we have to know how to shine or how to bring it in the room when, when a situation is dark. Because you ever been in a dark situation and somebody turned the light on? Oh, and man, you hurt your eyes. Yeah, so we have to you know how to come into a dark situation. Well, like you that, come like in that. with the love of yeah. God. You don't come in just so, or, overbearing. You got to know how to enter in when you're going into a dark situation because if you go in too strong it's going to cause the person to flee away from you so it can be a shadow yeah. of what you're trying to do so we have to know how to allow the spirit of God the, the light of God Amen. the goodness of God because we can be overly 
you just too you you just you just doing too much. Yeah, you're doing too much. Okay, I understand you love me, but you just you pouring it on too thick. Yeah, just take your time when you're going in with the light and know how to ask the Holy Spirit to yes. Let let me know how to shine. Let me know yeah. how, what goodness do you want me to bring here, God? How much mercy do you want me to pour on it? I, they don't need the heavenweight gravy right now. <laughs> That's too thick. So just let me give it to them how they need it. Doses. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. doses. And you know, this is an important thing for light. Mm-hmm. Light has a source. One thing I love what you just said about that, and the Holy Spirit brought it to me just like that. Every light bulb has a receptacle. Mm-hmm. It has to be put into plugged into a source. Mm-hmm. It's screwed in, or no matter what, it's placed into a source. Mm-hmm. Now that receptacle is capable of receiving various degrees of light. Mm-hmm. So you could put a thirty watt, mm-hmm. a sixty watt, a, a hundred watt bulb in that same receptacle, mm-hmm. and like you're saying, knowing how to go in, mm-hmm. you know, because. The light I have in my bathroom don't have to be as bright as the light that's in my garage. Yes. You know? So we do. We have to know how to do that. And we know how to have, have to recognize what degree of light or love or forgiveness mm-hmm. is needed in this situation. Mm-hmm. How much compassion do I need in this situation, Lord? Well, when you are plugged into the source, mm-hmm. when you're tuned in, screwed into that receptacle, mm-hmm. God will let you know how much light to give off yeah. for the particular situation that you're in. Mm-hmm. Because when, when let's say we get in the bed, Ooh. I may want to read a little bit. Mm-hmm. I don't need a hundred watt bulb coming from my lamp on my side of the bed. Mm-hmm. Now she can't sleep because it's illuminating or it's lighting up the whole room. Mm-hmm. So I may need a 30 watt bulb. Yeah. Something that's that's softer. Mm-hmm. So it's still going to illuminate light. Mm-hmm. But like you say, it ain't going to give off too much yes. light. Mm-hmm. And Pastor Brina just said something. She said balance. And it made me think about the light over my desk at work. It kept flicking off and flicking on. It was light there, but it kept flicking and flicking. So it was messing with my eyes, and it was causing me not to be able to see clearly. So I called, and, and the secretary said, oh, that's the balance. You don't need to change the bulb. That's the balance. And as you said, balance, yep. the Holy Spirit say, we got to know how to balance light. It has to be balanced. Yeah, because then we're dealing with somebody, mm-hmm. and we kind of wish it wash it, mm-hmm. but how we're dealing with them, mm-hmm. it's not balanced. No, it's going to disturb them. And it's going to disturb them, yes. or as you say, they're going to be off. They, yes. They're not going to be able to see clearly what yes. you're trying to explain to them. Right, right. Because you're not sure what you're saying. Yes. But that's why it's important. To stay close to God, stay in the word, and keep yes. that line of communication yes. open with the Father. And mm-hmm. so therefore we gotta make sure, like I said, we got the right light for the situation. Yes. Because you can't hit a baby Christian with the same amount of light you're gonna hit a mature Christian with. Because that baby Christian may just turn and, and, and just leave. Mm-hmm. You it's know too much. It's just too much. Mm-hmm. It's like floodlights. Mm-hmm. You know. You turn on some flood light, they may ask you, hey, give me the light off your phone. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, you, you you hit them with a big old flood light. <laughs> now they can't see nothing. They saying, this is just too good to be true. You did what you want. <laughs> Instead of them seeing the goodness <laughs> yeah. that God trying to bring, they look at they reading it wrong. So that balance, that that You got to um, have that balance. That you got to have that balance. You know, that, that, you know, determine how much light comes out. Receptacle. Yeah. Is, you know. So you gotta you gotta be able to well in, in that you said source, mm-hmm. which is the spirit of Christ. Which is God. You know, yes. God is our source. You know, we have to be able to tap into God when we're going into the our world of influence. That's mm-hmm. what I like to say. It is. Because you have to be able to talk to the Holy Spirit, say, Okay, Holy Spirit, how how what how you want me to do this? What is it you want me to shine? How you want me to shine in this person's life? Mm-hmm. What do they need the most? I got a lot of things that I can bring to the table, but not they, that's not maybe what they, what's going to help them right now. It's good, but that's not what they need to eat right now. That's not what they need right now. Give me the right amount of your light to be able to bring to this person, this soul that's dark, that's going through hell. And what area in their life yes. to shine it. So yes. your words will have to be what air, oh, chosen, yes. what you're doing, yes. because depending on what you're talking about, you going to them talking about money coming. Yes. Talking oh. about money. They don't need no money. No. 
That's the wrong goodness. It's good. They need, that's the wrong... they need some emotional help. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Peace in their life. They need some revelation knowledge so they'll know what to do what about to that do situation. In that situation. Amen. Yes. Amen. So that's why it's important for us as um, representatives of Christ mm-hmm. to be plugged into the source, to be plugged into yes. the light. And and the way we do that is by talking with God, reading His Word, spending Jesus. time with God, being around, being around uh, like-minded mm-hmm. believers, you know, discussing His Word, mm-hmm. uh, you know, going to church, attending Bible study. You know what I'm saying? These are the things that yes. help us build our faith, to help build us up, I and even to help add us. To that, ask questions. Yes. Mm-hmm. Ask, ask. Mo- uh, oh, what yeah. you said this morning. Ask, seek, and knock. Yeah. Ask questions. Don't think that you're so smart. Oh, I've been in church thirty years. I don't mm-hmm. need that. Yes, you do need to ask mm-hmm. somebody something. Mm-hmm. Maybe when they read it, God gave them a new, a different revelation on it that you didn't see. And if you go back and read it yourself and ask God to show you mm-hmm. what He's teaching you, what is what is this for? It can open up something different and shine more light to you. Yes. And also when you, oh, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. And also when we're when we're bringing the goodness of God in, into the darkness, we got to realize that it's taking something from us. Mm-hmm. So as we're giving out, we got to be poured into. Mm-hmm. So that means we we have to come back to the source because a lot of times because we love the Lord and we love people, we're just pouring out and pouring out and pouring out. Mm-hmm. And while we're pouring out and not going now back to the me. source, yes, Your so that I, running low. that's right. So now, now it's your time. Mm. So you got to be able to go back to the source or the resource of the people mm-hmm. that God have in your life that can help you when you dark and get in the dark. Because a lot of times we we are, we as people that know that God has called us into that, and we're all called into we it. Deplete, deplete. Yes, and you don't know how to get your rest. You don't know how to go back to God so you can be reloaded and and, and put that battery on the charger so that you can be able to. Okay, God, I need because my goodness. Amen. And my mercy, it ain't where it need to be. I'm, I'm saying this with my mouth, but in my heart, I'm feeling like, you know what? <laughs> uh-uh, I, I'm, I'm just saying it because I know that I'm supposed to say it. But my heart is not there. So I have enough mm. light to be able to help the person. But Your God is looking at my right. heart saying, okay, you need to be recharged. Now you need to sit mm-hmm. yourself down <laughs> and get yourself Rest. recharged because Rest you finna. Is important. That's right, because you finna, finna go over there and they're gonna say something that's gonna touch a nerve. And you're gonna and let them have yo, it. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Your bubble gonna break. <laughs> when the bug, when Ooh. the light bulb pow. Well, I got something that I wanna share, and this mm-hmm. is something when I came across. Actually, I, I got this from a uh, from a movie, mm-hmm. Coach Carter. Mm-hmm. And he asked his players, "What is your what is your greatest fear?" Mm. And one of the players said this quote, which came from a book. And I want to read this. And okay. and, and the book is called "A Return to Love: mm. Reflections on the Principles of A Course in Miracles." And it says this right here. It says, "Our deepest fear is not that we are in, are inadequate." Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your plain small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It's not just in some of us, it's in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. I love that. And ever since I heard that and I found that, I go back to it. Mm -hmm. It is our duty to let our light shine. Mm -hmm. It is our duty to allow the light in us to liberate Mm -hmm. us and then, you know, liberate others around us. Mm -hmm. Who are we not to be talented and beautiful and bold? Yes, yes. Shining bright. Hallelujah. Who are we not to be that we are children of the Most High God? 
And when the light of God that's in us is manifesting, it changes those around us. Mm -hmm. That's what it is supposed to do. Yes. When we let our light shine, now we give permission to other people to let their light shine. Mm -hmm. But if we're going to dim our light mm -hmm. and become small and insignificant, mm -hmm. then we are telling other people, it's okay to say with my mouth, I love God, mm -hmm. but I can't show the world that I love God. Mm -hmm. No. We don't shrink back. We stand tall. Mm -hmm. And we let our light shine so that this dark world that we live in mm -hmm. can have its permission to shine in God. Mm -hmm. And let's shine out in the world, not just in the four walls, the building mm -hmm. we call mm -hmm. church. Amen. Because it's easy to shine in there. Because mm -hmm. all the light is in there. Amen. Everybody in there trying to shine. Yes. But it's let's shine when we get on the outside of that building that we call church. When we get out there in the world, let's shine out there. Yes. When you look up at night, I know I hear in Luxahatchee, I, I love to look Beautiful. up, even four day in the morning while the sun is still down and still mm -hmm. up. And you look up and you see all the different stars. Of course, we know the moon. But when you see all the different stars shining individually, they're shining. They're not trying to compete with one another. No. They all shine Amen. according to the power that God Amen. has put in them. God gave them an assignment when he created mm -hmm. each and every billions of whatever stars. He gave them that assignment to shine. So as you read that, that's what I thought about. In this world, in this dark world, we all... When you receive Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit is inside of you, you all already have the power that yeah, God has given you to shine. You, you don't have to worry about nobody else. Everybody got what they need, what they need. for the situation. You Amen. got the answer yeah. when you go into darkness because you got the Spirit of God Amen. in you Amen. with the answer. You just got to tap in. Amen. Yeah. So you got to let that light shine. Yes. And you know, uh, Pastor Andrew, that's a good point you you brought up. Because in the church, we got to get out of competition. Mm. We all doing this for the body of Christ, for God. Yes. We're, we're, so there's no need for competition among his people. Amen. You know, Pastor get up, he preached the word, yeah. lives getting changed. Okay, amen. Praise God. Mm -hmm. I don't care what. If you are in a Christian-based church mm -hmm. and they are teaching the unadulterated word of God, mm -hmm. whether you got 10 or 10 million people, mm -hmm. we all are giving God glory for Amen. what he's doing. Amen. And we all need to let that light shine. Because mm -hmm. it's not about where we go to church. Mm -hmm. It's not about the pastor in the pulpit. It's not about the choir. It's, not about, it's about the Lord. Yes. Amen. And I believe that when we as the body of Christ come together and recognize that we are the light of the world. Yes. Doesn't matter about denomination. Doesn't matter about color. But we are the light of the world. We are Christians. Yes. And we begin to let Jesus Christ direct our lives and shine in our lives. Then other people will turn and God will heal. Because he didn't say if the sinner who is called by my name. He said if my people who are called by my name mm -hmm. will turn from their wicked ways and repent. Mm -hmm. Then he'll hear from heaven uh -huh. and he'll heal the land. But if the light is dim, dull, burnt out, what can God do? I'm going to calm down. I feel myself getting inside. That second part of 16 <laughs> where it says, so, and this is in the Good News translation, it says, well, I'm going to read the whole thing. 16, it says, in the same way your light must shine before people before people so that they will see on the line C they will see the good things you do not what you say the good things we do people want to see God said let your light shine before people so that they can see the good things that you do and glorify the father which is in heaven so the thing about com com competition, we if we competing with each other, then the light I light already dim because the mm -hmm. devil ain't got to worry about nothing about shining you. on us because you 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 got the wrong spirit. Mm -hmm. So if I'm trying to compete with the next Christian, or the next this or the next no, that, exactly knowing that every, 
every good gift comes from the, the Father Lord. of Lights. Amen. Okay, the gift that I have come from the Father of Lights. I don't own it. So Amen. whatever good that's coming out, whatever Amen. joy that's coming out, is coming from God. So I can't, what am I going to get jealous with the other brother or sister about the anointing that's on their life? That is the anointing that God put on their life. The same God, the mm -hmm. self same spirit that gave them that anointing to shine, gave me that anointing to shine. So we got to come together. And I remember, was it, um, I forgot this, this uh, the, uh, the famous can't think of what his name is, but he's one of the other famous followers that people follow. He said he was going, he was researching Christians, and he went in to be a Christian. And then he was, when he went to the place where he wanted to hear about God, the way that the people treated him, he said, "If this is the what Jesus is all about, that, that, this is not the teachings of Jesus. If this is what what I thought was the teachings of Jesus, I don't want it." Hmm. So I think that's what's going on with the body of Christ. We're not allowing the light of Christ to shine because some people say, "Well, dang, if you want to, yes, we we can't, we got, we can't be like the world." You know, if if somebody come and talk about me and I turn around and talk about them, then I'm just then like the, the world. world. So if I want, Jesus said, "Okay, if you going you ain't no different. How are you gonna be coming talking about I ain't gonna forgive Jesus. you because you don't forgive me?" You ain't no different in the world. That's what the world do. So Amen. this light of God that's inside of us will give us the power. So when we come in that dark situation where right somebody now. didn't forgive me and I turn around and I forgive them the power of God, because not me, the power of God, because within me there is nothing good. Period. Within me, I don't want to forgive you. But when I allow the Holy Spirit yeah. to come yeah. illuminate in my life and say, you know what? No, you forgive them. And while you're working on fixing your mouth, I'm fixing your heart. Mm -hmm. Say it, walk it out, and do it, and now fix in your heart so yes. you will really mean it yes. and quit competing and going tit for tat with other people trying to be mad because they mad. I ain't going to feed you because <laughs> you done talked about me. So I'm going to, uh-uh, no, don't even come my way. But that's the very one God let sent them. You got to let your light shine because that's how people going to see because they're going to see your good works. Well, dang, mm -hmm. I just, I just ragged you down and you know I'm the reason why that rumor's going around the job about you. You know that. But still and yet when you brought pizza you know I love the pizza with the bacon and all that on that. Well I don't know what that pizza called but it got the bacon and the wine. The meat lovers. Whatever it is you know I love it. it. No matter what. Mm -hmm. So you brought that especially for me. Dang okay I see the good works of God. That got to be God because otherwise you would have never invited me more or less brought my favorite mm -hmm. pizza. Mm-hmm. And, and 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 but but another thing about that, the devil wouldn't have let you bring your favorite their favorite pizza. Uh -huh. It would have let you brought something else. But see, but when you allow yeah, the the, the, the <laughs> light, <laughs> yep, or the love well, of God <laughs> to shine through you and in you, mm -hmm. it changes you. It does. Light mm -hmm. changes a situation. Yes. If you that don't does. believe me, speed through some places and see if don't light change your situation. Good. Cause I remember them blue and red lights. I <laughs> I rode around with for twenty five years. They changed situation. Yes, sir. They changed attitude. Mm -hmm. So this is what light does. Light changes the situation. It makes it better. light the 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 light of the world. Jesus Christ changes the game. Mm -hmm. And when we allow that light mm -hmm. to take over us and to radiate from us, to shine from us. Mm -hmm. It changes the world. It changes the environment. Cause what happens when that when you don't have enough light, don't you bring more light? Mm -hmm. You know, need some help. or else you'll get a bigger yeah. flashlight. Well, yeah. So if you need help letting your light shine, mm -hmm. then you you know what? You reach out and you get some other light. You call on another brother and sister that can help you, that can help strengthen you, yes. that can encourage you, because yes. that's what light does. It's an encourager, it's a strengthener, it's a helper. Mm -hmm. That's the Holy Spirit that's yes. in us. Mm -hmm. So we have to let that light shine. And we cannot be afraid that when we feel like our light is going dim, mm -hmm. or it's about to go out, we, we're getting discouraged. We need to call on somebody who we know that will pray with us, that will encourage us, that will lift us up, that will help us realize 
The light is not blown. We just need to change the balance. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying, we need to speak some yeah. different yeah. words. We need to encourage one another. We need to stand by each other mm -hmm. and let the world see the love of God that's in us that the same love God gave for us, we're giving it to one another Hallelujah. as well as we're giving it to you. Mm -hmm. We letting our light shine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let y'all light shine. Mm -hmm. When you go to work tomorrow, let that light shine. If you got to go tonight, let that light shine. No matter what, let that light shine. Let the light of God that's in you, let it shine like the song says. And I know the song because my grandma kept me in church forever. <laughs> this little light of mine. What you going to let it do? I'm going to let it shine. <laughs> I definitely know it because um, we used to have testimony service at one of the churches I used to belong to. That was and the they called me. And I'm like, they called you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sister Angela, Sister Angela at that time, come on, we want you to give it to I didn't know what to do. And that's the first thing popped in my head. And that's what I saw. And I'm kind of shy. Well, still got a shy. So I'm like, okay, I know I know that. So I started singing and everybody joined in. I said, oh, Lord. So that lets you know whatever you have, it's going to bring joy. It's going to help. If God called on you, you got the answer. Amen. And you know, you, you just said some Pastor mm -hmm. Angela, that I want to just um, talk about for a little bit. Y'all saw what she just said? Mm -hmm. She a little shy. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you, when that light of the Lord is on you, yes. go back and just watch the first 12 to 13 minutes of our Sunday morning service and look at the light of God. Mm -hmm. Look at God. Because see, the light takes your weakness and it strengthens it. That is so true. It empowers you. Yes. That's the light of God. Mm -hmm. And that's how we're to be in this world. We're supposed to be strengtheners. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to be empowerers. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to help one another. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, because my sister, when she do the announcements and, you know, she talk, talk about that prayer. She talk about you need that monster energy drink. That prayer is like a monster energy drink. Mm -hmm. It's what you need. Yes. You know, that's just the light of God helping us mm -hmm. to help one another and to help other people in this dark world that we live in. Mm -hmm. And I, I do want to add because um, both Pastor Angela and Pastor James just recently said, you know, you have to get help. Yeah. If you if you know you need help, then you reach out. Don't reach out to your weak friends, mm. the ones so you know true. in darkness, the ones you know down in the mouth. What are they called? The, the mire mire clay the with you. In the mire. Don't call them. Don't text them. Don't reach out to them at all. Don't call the one who's going to agree with you. You need to call need. somebody who's strong in the word or strong in the Lord yeah. to help you because weak people can't help weak people. Yeah. All you're going to do is lay there and cry together and complain together and be negative together. Call yeah. someone Who's stronger than you? Who can lift you up? Call somebody who ain't afraid to tell you the truth. Someone who's going to tell you the truth, mm -hmm. and you're going to be able to go and, and accept it. You might say, "Ouch! Mm -hmm. I don't like how you said it. I don't like the words you said." But when I think about it, you're right. Amen. Amen. That's who you need to call. Someone who's going to be honest with you. That's Amen. so true, and that and that that lifts you out of darkness. Believe it or not, it does. It does when you because a lot of times we know we get so bogged down into whatever we're dealing with, and that cloud just get over our head, and we just pity, party, pity, party, and whatever we're going through, and the devil just keep pounding, pounding, pounding. So God needs somebody now just to you know it's just like a jolt. Come to hey, yeah, it's just like a jolt. You're like oh, okay, okay, it, it is like that light really pow because. You got to have that because you, you it's so piled down on you. You got to have that big light at that time because otherwise the person if I'm coming in the easy, bright light. you still you still saying I just you, no matter yeah, what easy. nobody say, you still I just you just more they agree with you and just Yeah. Right. And so the Holy Spirit said, I tell you what, say this. Put that and flashlight you in that, their face. And he's like, Whoa, what did you just say to me? And they were like, well, that was God. That's what God just told me to say. And then the tears start coming. And that means the Holy Spirit. When God reveals, God is ready to heal. God's not going to shine light on something if he's not ready to heal. Because if that's like open, if he's going to open that wound, God is ready to heal that wound. He ain't going to snatch the thing off and then just leave you bleeding or whatever. Toughen up. 
you you should be brought. No, God gonna say, okay, now He's it's revealed now. Now let's let's heal this. Let's heal let's this. Heal it. And you know, I just want to read uh, a verse from Second Corinthians. And actually, I just want to read the opening. We know in in Second Corinthians, the fifth chapter, verse seventeen. Uh, Paul said, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away, all things are become new. Mm -hmm. But when we jump down to verse 20, 2 Corinthians 5 and 20, he says, Now then we are ambassadors for Christ, mm -hmm. as though God did beseech you by us. We pray you in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled to God. Mm -hmm. He started out saying, Now then we are ambassadors for Christ. Yes. As a Christian. I do not represent Uplift Church 429. Mm -hmm. I am an ambassador for Christ mm -hmm. through Uplift Church 429. Mm -hmm. That's where I go to fellowship. That's where I go to be equipped to it, be encouraged. That's where I go to be with people who are other ambassadors for Christ. Mm -hmm. But I represent Jesus Christ yes. as a Christian. Mm -hmm. And that's what we got to realize. We all are the light of Christ. Mm -hmm. We are ambassadors for Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And if we can get that mindset mm -hmm. to say, I am an ambassador for Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. I don't go, I don't care if you go to the church with three members, mm -hmm. or you go to a church with 30 million members, 30,000 members. Two, three, you again. all, we all are ambassadors for Christ with Amen. the same end result. To get this world from darkness into light. Mm -hmm. To get people saved, sanctified, yes. filled with the Holy Ghost. So that we'll all be rejoicing in heaven. Excuse me. Together. Mm -hmm. So we'll all be doing that together. It's not about where you are. It's about who you're working for. Amen. And we all are the light Amen. of Jesus Christ. Amen. And we need to walk in that light. And we need to remember that. I am an ambassador. For Christ. Yes. I need to walk in the light. I need to let that light shine. And in that light, there is love, there's joy, there's peace, there's healing, there's deliverance, there's salvation, there's hope, yes. there's faith, there's everything. There's healing, yes. there's strength, there's peace in that light. Yes. Pastor James, what scripture did you just do? Uh, 2 Corinthians 5 and 20. Uh, what was that before the 20? Uh, verse 17. Can I read from 17 to 20 from the good news? Go ahead. It, yeah, we got says, it says, anyone who is joined to Christ is a, new be is a new being. The old is gone. The new has come. All this is done by God who through Christ changed us from enemies into his friends and gave us the task of making others his friends also. Amen. Verse 19, our message is that God was making the whole human race his friends through Christ. God did not keep an account of their sins, and he has given us the message which tells how he makes them his friends. Verse 20, here we are then speaking for Christ as though God himself were making his appeal through us. We plead on Christ's behalf. Let God change you from enemies into his friends. Amen. So let us help other people get out of guilt and condemnation. Mm -hmm. Feeling like um, um, you know, they're not good enough. They're not worthy enough. Let us help people get back and, and recognize that yes, you are. Mm -hmm. Let them know that, hey, God loves you. Let your light shine. Because they're going to say, well, how can God love me with, with my life like this? That's why he sent Jesus mm -hmm. to heal you, to deliver you, to set you free. And that's why when you accept the Holy Spirit and you receive him, yeah. he begins to bring you out of what you're in. Yes. He'll deliver you. He'll give you hope. He's already given you faith. He'll take care of you. So God is not keeping a record of our sin. Nope. That's a good tool. Jesus. Let Thank go. You, God. Let God. Mm. Let go and let God. Hallelujah. So we all are the light of the world. Yes. 
And we got to let that light shine. We got to be that witness for our Lord Jehovah. El Shaddai, El Elyon. We got to be the one to let the world see that there is a God who still loves you. There is a God who cares about you. And we got to let our light shine. Not just in person. Let your light shine on social media. Let your light shine in your house. Let your light shine on your job, with your business, when you go out. Let your light shine. Doesn't matter what everybody else is doing. You say you love Jesus. Let your light shine. Amen. Amen. Pastor Andrew, you Wait, I'm sorry. Pastor Bree, you got anything else you want to add to that? No, I was just going to say, remember to have balance. And when you're letting your light shine to other people, don't try to be so overpowering that they refuse to listen to you. Have some balance. Ask God to help you. Ask God, as Pastor Angela said, to show you how to shine your light um, for the world to see. Remember, it's all to glorify the Father. Amen. Amen. Pastor Angela. Oh. I'm just saying, you got anything else oh, to add? Oh, oh, oh. No, no. It's all a right. good topic. Definitely a great topic. Well, all right. You want to go ahead on and uh, just close us out in prayer? Heavenly Father, we give you praise, honor, and glory. We thank you for your Holy Spirit that opens up all the things that you have for us, God. Thank you for shining your light in our hearts. Thank you, God, for breaking up the fallow ground of our heart, all the heart places, shining your light inside, God, all those deep places, all those dark places, and healing us everywhere we hurt, everywhere we're broken, God. We thank you right now so that we, God, cannot be fragmented when we're going out into this dark world and we can come and shine the light of Christ into their hurting situation, yes, into yes. their area Thank where they Lord. feel defeated, yes. into that area where they feel like they are not worth the, yes. the love of God. We pray, God, in the name of Jesus, that you use us as vessels of honor so that we can go and shine the likeness that brings hope, that brings deliverance, that let people know that you're not angry at them, God. Let people know that you have already taken care of their sin debt on Jesus Christ. Help us, God, to be able to shine your goodness in this world so people can come back home to you so the human race can know that you love us and you love them, God. No matter what they have done, you sent Jesus so that we now can shine brightly in this world. No matter how dark the situation is, it is not too dark for you. And we thank you right now for the illumination of your life that's going forth, God, over the airway every heart, every mind that's listening yes. right now, God. Hallelujah. They are opening up their hearts so they may be able to receive your light and be able to give your love to yes. every person, every dark situation that come their way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Great Bible study, pastors. Thank you. I want to show you, here's an armband we have that says salt and light Matthew 5 13 through 16 we will be giving these away free if you come to church on Sunday we see you on Sunday Man. you can have it, but it'll cost us way more to put this in the mail it'll cost us <laughs> 4 95 to mail this so you gotta come to the church you got to come to the church to get it. Mm. So if you want this wristband to remind you about the salt and the light, mm. see you on Sunday. We're located at Yeager Middle School, 3777 North Jog Road in West Palm Beach, Florida. Mm. Once you come inside the gate, follow the directional signs in the courtyard, up in the church, 429. Yes. No, I was going to say something else before she said all of that about this, actually. Um... I've been wearing these for years, this, this this bracelet, to remind myself of who I am and what I'm here to do. I've actually given many away to other people. They see it, and a lot of times it shows the scripture, and then they ask me about it, and I show them this side. It reminds me of the salt and light. Mm -hmm. I wear two on this arm, but this will always end up what I consider to be the bottom, because it's closest to my hand. Mm -hmm. But then I realize is that when I wear a jacket, it sticks out first. This is the one people see first. 
no matter which way I hold my arm, this red and white one will always be illuminated first. And it has started conversations for me to tell people about salt and light, mm -hmm. from young adults, teenagers, on up to grown people. And normally, if somebody asks me about it, I just give them one because I have another one somewhere. Mm -hmm. But it's just a great reminder and it's a great conversation starter to tell people about the light, to tell people about Jesus Christ. Because mm -hmm. that's what we're here to do, to share our love for Jesus Christ with this world. So with that being said, don't forget tomorrow morning we will not be having prayer. I'll be on the road a little early. So um, I'll be back with y'all Friday morning. I thought I was gonna miss Thursday and Friday, but then I had to check and see, nope, I got a computer appointment. So I won't, we will not be having prayer tomorrow. If you miss prayer this morning, watch the one from yesterday on YouTube, watch it tomorrow morning. Hallelujah. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I didn't think prayer was gonna be going on this long. I, I'm, uh, I'm just being real. I didn't think it was going to be going on this long, but look at God. Mm. And I thank God for the people that lives have been touched through the prayer. Mm. Hallelujah. The reports Lord, that I receive, the comments that I go back and read, and I comment on it. So I just thank the Lord for you guys and keep being the life that God has called you to be. So with that being said, on the behalf of myself, James Tiger Wilkinson, the senior pastor of Little Church 429, my beautiful wife, Pastor Sabrina, our beautiful aunt, Pastor Angela, our family's team, Wilkinson, Team Dixon, and of course, the most beautiful, anointed, best, blessed, Holy Ghost field, hallelujah, devil stumping, amazing, committed, skillful Amen. lawyer, able, prompt to do, on fire, fire baptized, Holy Ghost field, hallelujah, body of believers on this side of heaven, up Little Church 429, and our Up Little Church Facebook Live family, God bless y'all. We love y'all. See you Friday morning. Peace. Hey, before you cut it off, hey, don't this 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 version of Pastor James' voice, <laughs> even though the loud thundering voice is, is earth shaking, there's something about that. I don't know what's Afro Ten or whatever, but it's so soothing. <laughs> y'all have a good night. See you Friday morning. Peace. <laughs> I was just listening to y'all had a smile. I said, ooh, that's so